Hey, Gales and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and I'm just following up on an issue I was having way back when I uh, did the video for Lesson 17, if you happen to have watched that. And what I was getting uh, when trying to add a new product was this Amazon um, error code 5461. And what I did in the video is I uh, put together a ticket to send out to Amazon to see if I could get this particular product added to my store or added to Amazon altogether, actually. Um, so I did send that out, and I eventually, um, I did after some time, I got a response from Amazon, and um, I was able to request to put the product in there. So let me kind of tell you what I'm talking about. Let's go back to this video first. So for better explanation of what I am talking about, um, you can, I put this link down at the bottom to Lesson 17 video. And if you go around about the 38 minute mark of that video, um, it would be a better explanation or a better visual of what I'm what I'm talking about. I did do some screenshots on that um, actually, and this is what I'm talking about right here, and that's that error um, five four six one. Let's see if I can get it up a little closer here. If my browser is going to cooperate here, uh, eh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, trust me, that says error five four six one. <laughs> All right, let me go to the next. Uh, Next picture. Oh, now it's going to rise up. All right, let me see if we can get over here. There we go. Five, four, six, one. Okay. And then um, I'm going to go to the next picture. And then this is the ticket that I put in. So what I provided in this particular video is a... Let me get out of here. If I can find it here. Uh, all right, so here's the ticket that I put in. These are all the correspondence that I had with Amazon. And what I did is I made a PDF of this particular ticket of everything that was uh, discussed and recorded. And I allowed that, uh, I put it into a PDF so it allows you to download it and get an idea of what uh, the correspondence was like. So it'll give you an idea uh, what you can do if you have the same issue. And so what it allowed me to do once they got back to me is actually I don't get that error code anymore. I can actually put in the product. Now, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but at this point, it's letting me um, put in the product. So let's go to uh, let's go open a new tab for Seller Central just to just to show you what I'm talking about. We're going to add a new product. All right. I'm adding a product not sold by Amazon. Uh, we're just going to do something funky. Uh, this has nothing to do with anything. I'm not actually selling this or sending this to Amazon. Uh, so we're going to do a ASIN. I'm going to put this, this is a product. So I'm just going to fill all this stuff in real quick. I'll just put in my media helper. And we'll just put my media helper in. And I don't know. I'll just put in a bunch of silly numbers. Okay. And all right. So I'll just put in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. And uh, put in the offer of, I don't know, $50. Quantity five. Condition new. All right. So let's go back here. There, there. That's the link I was looking to get. So obviously this product uh, is not going to go through. I'm not going to be able to save and finish, but uh, I'm going to learn more. All right. And then I can get rid of this. So I'll just put in, uh, I'm going to select electronics. All right. I'm going to put in uh, generic. I'll check for eligibility. All right, so see, instead now, instead of the, what I was getting before, which was that error, I am now getting this where I can hit and click on add a product. Oop. And I'm not sure why it did that. It's supposed to. After 30 minutes, oh, you have been approved to list products in the below brand and category. You can start listing these products after 30 minutes. Oh, okay, so I have to wait 30 minutes. So anyways, this is what happens when you list it. Let me actually refresh. I haven't refreshed this since uh, this page you are looking forward to. 
All right, so it's been a couple of days from April uh, 20th when initially sent in that request. To, now it's April uh, 22nd. I just uh, received this this morning. And we can go to the ticket. I'll show you exactly uh, what the ticket looks like here. And just uh, basically the skinny is go ahead and uh, submit your product. And it gives you instructions on how to do so. So we're happy to inform you that your request to GTN exemption is successfully approved. Please wait 30 minutes. It's been longer, way longer than 30 minutes. Uh, so it's in the category of camera. Uh, things to remember, which I will review that real quick before I do anything. Uh, okay. And um, it's just instructions on uh, how to how to list an item, which which we, we know. I'm going to put this on my other monitor. Um, hey, anyway, where did I go? <laughs> hey, all right. It wants me to. Uh, and that's fine. I'm going to leave this here. It 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 drug me along when I put it on the other monitor. All right. So more of the same. We want to go list that product. Go find the product again. Go to my Go Ten. My Go Ten. I just happen to be working on that right now. And. Um, yeah, I believe this is it right here. All right. And make sure I sign into my Go 10. All right. And then we just want to go to, um, go to my inventory, manage inventory. We just add product here. So I'm going to go through, add all the product. I mean, I've done a video to already um, specify on how to do that. And then uh, I'll get back, just make sure the product, uh, show you that the product is, that and, or is there, and that is it. That will be the uh, conclusion of this video. So let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll, I'll get back with you. All right, so here's the product that I put in, and um, you see I got all the images in there. I'm tweaking around the description still and adding uh, different items, so you can do that as I go along. Um, but just to show you, I was able to do that. I'll go back in and uh, make changes appropriately. You can make changes, and every 15 minutes or so, we'll update. And I'm just, as kind of a perfectionist, I just want to go in and make it sure um, it looks the best it can. And then I'll use that as a template for my future um, items that I post. But that is that is it, Gales and ga uh, Gales and Gales, Gales and Gales, guys and guys. Um, that's how you go ahead and do that. So you get rid of that uh, error. You request to put in your own products. And um, now I'm just going to put in my, um, I've been approved for electronics, so I can go in and um, put in my electronics. So I'll do that sparingly. I won't abuse it. And uh, I suggest you don't do it either. And um, that's it. Guys and gals, I'm kind of humming and humming and humming here. But uh, I hope you got something out of it. And as always, if you could subscribe below, um, do the thumbs up thing, share, hit the bell thingy dingy, and uh, to get updates on my videos. And from there, I wish you a good evening. And I am out of here. And goodbye. Oop, and just like the end of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, there's still a little more. Uh, I just wanted to show you, uh, I just updated this. So I showed you before this wasn't there, and then I made updates, and there it is. And again, I'm still tweaking this, and I just submitted it again. Um, so just as a tip here, let's go in there real quick. And then I'll go into the description. So I'm going to take some of this out. I put some of these in. Um Use your bullet points, use your descriptions, and play around with it. Okay, guys and gals, I really mean it this time. I'm leaving. Goodbye.